Good morning, this is Kim Blaylock with SDG Bible Study. Good Tuesday morning from Soli Deo Gloria Bible Study. This morning we will continue in our reading of God's Word in a blended fashion. We'll be in the Song of Solomon, chapters 4 and 5, and then uh, starting the book of Ephesians this morning, Ephesians chapter 1. So let's get into God's Word together. Thank you for joining me. Song of Solomon, chapter 4. He. Behold, you are beautiful, beautiful, my love. Behold, you are beautiful. Your eyes are doves behind your veil. Your hair is like a flock of goats leaping down the slopes of Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of shorn ewes that have come up from the washing, all of which bear twins, and not one among them has lost its young. Your lips are like a scarlet thread and your mouth is lovely. Your cheeks are like halves of a pomegranate behind your veil. Your neck is like the Tower of David built in rows of stone. On it hang a thousand shields, all of them shields of warriors. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle that graze among the lilies. Until the day breeze and the shadows flee, I will go away to the mountain of myrrh and the hill of frankincense. You are altogether beautiful, my love. There is no flaw in you. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Lebanon. Depart from the peak of Amana, from the peak of Sinir and Hermon, from the dens of lions, from the mountains of leopards. You have captivated my heart, my sister, my bride. You have captivated my heart with one glance of your eyes, with one jewel of your necklace. How beautiful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much better is your love than wine and the fragrance of your oils than, the, than any spice. Your lips drip nectar, my bride. Honey and milk are under your tongue. The fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon, a garden Looked, a garden locked is my sister, my bride, a spring locked, a fountain sealed. Your shoots are an orchard of pomegranates with all choicest fruits, henna with nard, nard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloes, with all choice spices, a garden fountain, a well of living water and flowing streams from Lebanon. Awake, O north wind, and come, O south wind. Blow upon my garden, let its spices flow. She, let my beloved come to, this, to his garden and eat its choicest fruits. Song of Solomon, chapter 5. He. I came to my garden, my sister, my bride. I gathered my myrrh with my spice. I ate my honeycomb. With my honey, I drank my wine. With my milk, others. Eat, friends, drink, and be drunk with love. She, I slept, but my heart was awake. A sound, my beloved is knocking. Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my perfect one. For my head is wet with dew my locks with the drops of the night. I had put off my garment, how could I put it on? I had bathed my feet, how could I soil them? My beloved put his hand to the latch and my heart was thrilled within me. I arose to open to my beloved and my hand stripped with myrrh, my fingers with liquid myrrh on the handles of the bolt. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had turned and gone. My soul failed me when he spoke. I sought him, but found him not. I called him, but he gave no answer. The watchmen found me as they went about in the city. They beat me, they bruised me, they took away my veil, those watchmen of the walls. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, that you tell him I am sick with love. Others. What is your beloved more than others? 
another beloved, O most beautiful among women? What is your beloved more than another beloved that, that thou thus adjure us? She, my beloved, is radiant and ruddy, distinguished among ten thousand. His head is the finest gold, his locks are wavy, black as a raven. His, eye, his eyes are like doves beside streams of water, bathed in milk, sitting beside a full pool. His cheeks are like beds of spices, mounds of sweet-smelling herbs. His lips are lilies, dripping liquid myrrh. His arms are rods of gold set with jewels. His body is polished ivory, but decked with sapphires. His legs are alabaster columns set on bases of gold. His appearance is like Lebanon, choice as the cedar. His mouth is most sweet, and he is altogether desirable. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. Now to Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace with which he blessed us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his perfect purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. So that we who are in who excuse me, so that we who are the first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. In him in him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the hope with the promised Holy Spirit. Who is a guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory? For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his great might that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above and above every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his, which is his body, the fullness of him who fits, fills all and all. And that's going to conclude our reading from God's word this morning as we read the two chapters in the Song of Solomon, the love story between Solomon and his bride. And then here in Ephesians, we uh, read God's plan for God's people. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you will join me tomorrow as we continue in Solomon 6, 7, and 8 and Ephesians chapter 2 as we continue reading in God's Word. 
and being blessed by it. Give God the glory of this day ahead that he has given you. Soli Deo Gloria.